be showing you how to make um, um, body butter and um, this body butter is very rich in all the oils and um, I just like to give my skin all the nutrients it can get um, so I'm uh, been out of uh, I ran out of my body butter yesterday so I'm gonna do another one so I just thought to shoot this video to just show you how I do it um, I've got loads of oils here so um, if you're sensitive to any of these you can actually you can either sub them or eliminate them um, because there's loads anyway so if you if you eliminate one or two you're not really losing much um, so here I've got about a um, hundred gram of um, mango butter um, I usually use um, um, shea butter as my base but today I'm doing something slightly different but I'll show you I'll do another video where I use the um, shea butter as the base but today I'll be using the mango butter as the base so I've got 100 gram of mango butter here I've got um, cocoa butter which is about 50 gram and I've got just 40 gram of shea butter and um, so these are quite these are in solid form so I'm gonna be melting them in this bowl I'm just gonna put this bowl in a in a in a little saucepan in water and um, hot water and allow it to melt um, here I've got a combination a mixture of different oils um, I've got a tablespoon of hemp seed oil which is really good for the skin I've got um, a, a tablespoon of sweet, sweet almond oil I've got a tablespoon of jojoba oil I've also got um, a tablespoon of moringa oil and I've got a tablespoon also of argan oil so those are the oils here and so I'm just gonna melt this now and I'll come back and show you what the next step is So you can see that this is completely melted so I'm just going to take this off the hub and transfer it to the table and add the other oil and I'll show you what I'll do what the next step is all right guys so here is the oil I just melted and here is the mixture of the oils I mentioned earlier on so I'm just gonna mix this in it in, in the other mixture and um, why do I make my own uh, why do I make my own um, body butter as opposed to um, buying normal body cream? Um, if you if you've noticed here, I have put all the oils I put here I think are oils that you can consume that you consume. So I prefer to use things I can eat on my skin because whatever you use on your skin goes into your body eventually you know so you have to be careful what you apply on your skin um, I opted out of using um, store, um, store bought um, cream or normal commercial cream because they contain a lot of chemicals and some of them have been found to be carcinogenic so I rather just stick to the natural stuff um, if you're the if you the, uh, or you prefer your scent or your perfume then maybe you could add um, vanilla extract I've, I use that occasionally but for today I'm just doing it plain because I really don't mind but if you're one of those people um, you can always use vanilla extract or look for some other form of natural perfume that can help add some scent to your some scent to your um, cream so this is the main reason why I make my own cream. At least I know everything that is in the body butter. And um, you can see my skin. So there we are. So I'm giving it the right food. Um, so I'm just going to show you now what the next step is. Um, so I'm just going to whisk this. For this you need a whisk anyway. So I, bought, I got this from Amazon. They're not really that expensive. So I'm just going to whisk this now. Um, 
I do this because I like my body butter to be like whipped cream, you know, really nice, soft and um, buttery. And um, the thing about this cream is that when you use it on your skin, your body, your skin stays moisturized for about for 24 hours. You can actually even swim with it. And when you come out, your skin is still moisturized. So you don't even need to use to um, top it up or replenish it. Um, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to pop this in the fridge and um, um, leave it to set. Um, I'm not going to let it leave it to go too hard because then my my cream won't turn up really um, um, soft and fluffy. So I prefer it soft and fluffy. So I'm just going to let it set and it's going to be at that point where it transitions in from the liquid state into the solid state. So it's still quite soft you can still poke your fingers into it that's when i'll bring it out and i'll whisk it i'll show you the next step so let me pop this in the fridge and i'll come back to show you the next step all right guys so um here um is the oil mixture is set now so um i'm just gonna whisk it can you see at least i can i can insert my fingers in so I'm just going to whisk this now and we'll see what it looks like. Alright guys, so you can literally see how creamy it is, very creamy, yeah, so it's just like whipped cream, so I'm going to scoop this in, the, in this um, cream jar and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Alright, so let me scoop this in I think this might feel more than two cans so I'm just gonna fill it this way so here I've been able to get one and a half jar from here so that's one that's a half jar and this is a full jar see literally see how creamy that is yeah so that's my body butter ready and let me just show you very nice all right so there we are so i've just made the body butter um you give us give this a go and let me know how it goes with you um if you've enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and also um click on the notification button so you get notified every time we add a new video thank you for watching and um, look forward to adding more videos bye